Hey, how's it going guys? Bloodsplat here and today I have a Hearthstone video for you guys. The Grand Tournament is officially out. It's actually been out for two hours now. It's officially uh, 8 p.m. in the UK. It was supposed to come out at 6 p.m. Uh, you know, today, which it did technically, but especially on the EU servers, we've been having just so many technical difficulties. I've been following Blizzard on Twitter and uh, following the customer support, customer support uh, Twitter for Blizzard and they've just been constantly tweeting out on they're trying to fix this issue and blah 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 and there are still issues I still just just barely uh, have been able to get in um, for two hours now I've been trying to get in the game um, and yeah but now I'm finally in there's still a ton of latency problems as you can see it's incredibly slow and my game might crash and I still might take another two hours or something to get back in but hopefully we can open these 50 packs if I crash made away or something and it becomes an issue I'll just pause the video right there and then continue it on for you guys but here we are we have the grand tournament um, I pre-ordered the 50 packs so I've got uh, 50 packs here to open super excited basically anything I can get is great because obviously these are all new cards and I also equipped the new card back for the grand tournament for some good luck so without a further ado let's open up our first pack this is really exciting considering all these cards we're going to get are just like completely new and I don't even know all of the 132 new cards so we're definitely going to be exploring a lot today. Okay so, oh yeah and this is, I've seen some streams have this issue where it's taking a while to uh, open the cards. Okay nothing, in, nothing too crazy in the beginning but as I said I, all these cards I need. Oh come on. I know this might be an issue because I saw some other streamers have issues with opening the cards. But yep, yeah, as you can see they open eventually. Golden, rare, master jouster, I actually like that effect. Look at the background there. Oh, the little snow there is really, really cool. This is like really cartoony as well, it looks really cool. Reveal minion in each deck, huh. If yours costs more, gain taunt and divine shield, that's interesting. Alright, 48, oh. Let's see if we can get any legendaries. Hopefully we can. I mean, these are 50 packs, but I'm just so happy because regardless, we're going to get a bunch of new cards. Nice, another golden rare for the shaman. That looks sick. Look at that golden right there, dude. Looks crazy. Oh, the flames coming out of that guy. Draw two cards. Overlord two. Hmm. I don't think that's really good, though. Overlord two. I feel like you can get away with that card being an overlord one. I feel like if you're gonna play a shaman and you're gonna have overload cards, they better be making a huge effect on that turn. And all that card does is draw cards. So the next, uh, so and then yeah, you'll get two cards. But the next card, uh, the next turn, you'll be losing two mana anyway. So you're really not, you know, it's just too slow. It took a while. We got an epic for the shaman class. Nice first epic charge hammer. It happens to be a weapon. Your hero power becomes deal two damage. Damn, son. And it's also a 2-4. That might be interesting. Rare. Okay. Tusker Totemic. I, I, like, I just want to try out Shaman just because of cards like that and synergy with Totem Golem. I know those two cards are just so amazing. And Totem Shaman. Uh, cards synergized around sh Totems are really, really definitely going to become a thing. One of these days... Like the new card back, by the way, I think it looks really, really cool. I like how Blizzard are really getting into the fine details. Look at the, how the ribbon, ribbon moves and stuff like that. Finally. Yeah, the US people have been able to open. Uh, it's. I guess there's like a lot more players on EU. Like a lot more. Because US players just had like minor latency issues. I, I mean, maybe, maybe that's underestimating it. Obviously, everyone had issues. It's like standard with Blizzard around these expansion releases with all of their games. There's so much problems with the servers. Um, but you know, at least US players players were able to get on and you know, play. But it's been like two hours now and it seems that they're just finally letting some people in um, without DCing and stuff. So I'm finally in here. One of these days we shall open this. I hope we don't have any issues with this video because that would suck. 
because I'm already opening the packs and stuff. Come on now. Let me open them. Let me open. Oh, there we go. Fear some Doom Guard. Damn, son. It's just a minion right there. All right. 42 packs left. Eight packs open so far. No legendaries. You got, uh, I think, one or two epics or something. There it is. There's a totem golem right there. That's uh, <laughs> that is such a ridiculous card. Probably the, one of the best cards that I that I've heard of so far for uh, um, for the TGT uh, for the grand tournament. I haven't actually looked at all the 132 new cards yet. So we'll see. One day, one day, the these cards will open. Give me some legendaries, man. I don't even know what the good legendaries are. Oh, epic Sea Reaver for the warrior class. Big guy. And you draw this, deal one damage to your minions. Oh, damn. I don't think that's that good. I think there's better six drops. Oh, we, yeah, I don't know. Actually, that is if Grim Patron is still a thing, this can be very good. Convert priest, put a copy of an enemy minion into your hand. Okay, okay. Kind of going around the already somewhat existing priest mechanics out there. Another totem golem. Oh, there's a Tusker Totemic right next to each other. There's that Shaman sy uh, Synergy. Alright, 39 packs left. Let me get some legendaries, boys. Come on. We can do it. We can do it, Blizzard. Give me like one or two legendaries. I'll be happy. Don't give me the crap ones, though. Even the crap ones would be better than not having them. Because at least that's some dust. There we go. Rare. Not getting a oh, double Norse Sea Kraken. Yeah, for a 9 drop, this is absolutely uh, just mm, too. Not gonna really do anything for a 9 drop. I mean, we're, we're, we're comparing to uh, Alex Straws and all the other existing amazing legendaries. There, okay. It's really interesting, like, I'm taking a moment to actually, like, read through some of these cards since I've had- I, I don't know any of them, like, I know a very few of them. I only know the cards where I paid attention to reviewing, um, and I actually made a video, for, some of you guys might have actually watched that video, where I reviewed some of the first few cards that were announced at the very beginning, when about a month ago or whatever, when they first announced the Grand Tournament, but that was just, like, 18 cards, I believe? There's 132 new cards, so I've left all the other cards as a kind of a surprise golden rare for the hunter i do like to play a hunter a lot so that might it's definitely really cool two demon fuses give you and also play lock a lot uh give a demon plus three plus three give your mo uh opponent a mana crystal hmm that's not too crazy not too bad though flame lance another totem golem ball of spiders i Highly, highly un undervalue this card. Actually, no, what I'm saying. I, I highly, highly think that card is just crap. But I think, yeah, it's... Some people say it's undervalued, but I'm pretty sure it's just... Yeah, it's just crap. Come on, man. I want to see them big legendaries. I've been seeing my friends list, and I've been seeing some streamers um, play, and they're just, like, getting a bunch of legendaries and shit. So hopefully we can get our... We always, you know, I pre-ordered it, so... We still got quite a hefty amount of packs left. Some epics would be cool as well. Boom, 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 boom. Give me that King's Oak. Alright. There's a beast right there for hunters. Boom, minion in each deck. If it costs more, draw it. Wow. That's actually, I think, quite a good 2 drop. I think it's a very good 2 drop for hunters. And I just can certainly make use of that, I think. Uh -huh. do, do, do. Are you guys going to be playing Grand Tournament a lot? I actually haven't been playing Hearthstone too much just before this, but I'm, you know, the hype around Grand Tournament stuff. Big guy, Golden as well. Now to the Wild. Summon a beast, reduce the cost of this card by one. Huh. So, does this also take into effect when the card is in your hand? I mean, uh, when the card is still in your deck and on your hand, I guess it does. That might have some play, but it's not like there's too crazy much, you know, beast energy with druids. Druids certainly have beast, but it's not 
It's not enough to like crazily make a deck for it or whatever. Come on, Blizzard servers, let me play. I mean, let me open this power shot. I mean, Hunter spell. I haven't seen this. Deal two damage to a minion and the t and the minions next to it. Damn. So that's basically a uh, an immediate um, explosive trap. Instant explosive trap on command for three mana, because yeah, it only does it essentially to three, and you also have to rely on the positioning. But then again, most decks you're playing against don't have more than three or whatever. Finally, we got an epic that's pretty damn good as well. Uh, lock and load. I really was excited to play this card, uh, and I certainly think I'm thinking about making a deck just purely revolved around lock and load for the 100 class. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking about doing the same because it's such a crazy card. Two rare saboteur, a competitive spirit for a paladin. Okay. All right, 29 cards left. Let me see them legendaries. I'm so glad I haven't DC'd yet. That would be, I, I was expecting to DC or something. Because it was really bad, man. And you could still tell, like, I'm, you know, I'm clicking to get the uh, cards open and stuff. Several times. They definitely have a lot of stress on their servers at the moment. Another epic. Enter the Colosseum. Six mana. Destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minion. Wow, that's actually quite an interesting card. Huh. Okay. Nothing too crazy there. Let me open these cards, boys. There we go. I think it's getting faster. I think they're... Oh, golden power shot. Look at that effect. Look at that. I love the, the rays on the... When the guy uh, gets hit there. It looks really cool. Yep. So that's really cool. I like that. Blizzard has really upped their game on the effects on golden cards. I think they look amazing. Big shout out to the artists. I mean, they don't, they don't ever disappoint, right? Like, Blizzard artists is just... Oh! First legendary Wolfred Fizzlebang. Some people talked about how this card is going to be absolutely amazing. And I did as well, honestly. Um, uh, Master Summoner. Yeah, boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, and someone just opened Ronin. But that's the first legendary Wolf of uh, Fizzlebang. And um, let me just... Yep. Uh, uh, I think... Well, like, I just have to test this card out to see if it's any good. Because this is really, really... Like, it's, it costs 6 mana, so it doesn't exactly have an effect alone. Which is, so, like, kind of like a consistent problem with a lot of the TGD cards, at least the ones I've seen, is that they heavily rely on, like, some combos and, you know, combos with 2 or 3 other cards or something. So we'll have to see if whether it will make constructive uh, competitive play or not. A lot of people, when they first saw it, um, said that it was really OP. Uh, but yeah, it was a bit overvalued when it first came out and now people are thinking more realistically with it on whether or not it's actually viable. But hey, it might be still a very, very good card and can make it into a few Warlock decks. Uh, golden version of the North Sea Kraken, that effect is pretty cool. I didn't even uh, notice that he was kind of underwater. Makes complete sense though, if he's a Kraken. That looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can get our hands on any other legendaries, that would definitely be nice. Come on now, you were doing good to me, Blizzard. Help me out here. There we go. Nothing, a bear trap. Ooh, a secret. For the hunters. After your hero is attacked, summon a 3-3 bear with taunt. Huh, that looks pretty cool. Wait, does this... Yeah, that's pretty cool. A taunt, huh? That might be that might be useful. One day, one day. 
come on now, come on now. I know the Blizzard are working hard, dude. You should see how many tweets they reply to on their ser customer support. So I kind of have respect for them. It has been two hours though, and it was really unfair seeing all those US streamers being able to open their packs and get into games and stuff like that. And, and now we're opening our packs. But hey, there's, I think there is like a lot more players on EU. I think that's just straight up the reason. Definitely EU has such a high amount of players. Ooh, look at all the uh, confetti. That looks really cool. 20 more cards. You know, card packs. So we're a bit past halfway here. Alright, so the program uh, recording my audio for whatever reason crashed for a bit, so I don't know exactly how long you guys haven't been able to hear me, which I'm really, really pissed about since it totally did it beyond my back. It literally just shut down, which never, never happens to me. I use Audacity to record some of my audio, and it just totally just dumped on me. But I think we're back now. I think I'm recording my audio. I'm really, really sorry about that, guys. But I was talking about some, some stuff. I don't know if you were able to hear me when I got my legendary, but we got Wilford Fizzlebang. I think it was still up during that. I can't be exactly sure. I don't even know what I was talking about. But uh, here, I'm back. 
Uh, open one card. Seems that we seems to be that we have an epic another Sea Reaver for the Warrior class. Kind of sucks. I think I didn't really play Warrior that much. Twelve plaques left only. Like, I wish we had more. Uh, I'm tempted to buy more, but this is it for now, boys. This is it, it for now, and it should get us enough dust and some interesting cards to actually make some decks and definitely get into the game, um, into the new meta game. That will certainly be existent with a bunch of new cards being added. Effigy! Oh yeah. I've been playing Mage and I also talked about this card in my Grand Tournament review for the 18 initial cards. I think it's a really, really good card and could replace some certain cards like Duplicate in the Mage Secrets or uh, Mirror Entity, which are all secrets that are played anyway in a few decks. So yeah, that might be certainly used in play. You know, with synergy like in Molten Giant's Mage, it might be really cool where you can effigy a Molten Giant and every single time you'll get a Molten Giant again since, F you know, it's just, yeah, it's really, really cool. The synergy you can have with that spell and the randomness is effect is always really cool. Coliseum Manager. Getting to the last few here. Ten left. About four-fifths through this card pack opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless of the issues. I don't know if there was, it was the most interesting card at opening in the world. But hey, we got still another one-fifth of the uh, of the pack opening to go. Let's open these cards. Let's get through them. Come on, boys. Ah, uh, these latency issues. Come on. There we go. Come on, boys! I would love it, like just one more legendary. We do have we do have a lot of dust from these cards, though. I, I'm sure, and we can double check on that if the if the game allows us with all these latency issues. What my um, what my dust is at for extra cards and such, and we and we still have to go through uh, all the all the double cards. And this guy has been opening a lot of legendaries, man. Who knows how much cards uh, he bought though, and I'm sure a lot of people now that the game is out, they're also purchasing additional cards on top of the 50. So, there's that. Let me open this. Let me open. Whoa, what is going on upstairs, dude? You guys probably hear that. There's some noise going on. I apologize for that. One day, one day. Bear trap. Epic. Arcane blast. One mana. It's healed two damage to a minion. This spell gets double bonus from spell. Oh, double bonus, huh? So you can, if you have like an, just any spell power minion out there, say a zero drake for example, you deal four damage for one mana to a minion though. I don't know. It's not amazingly, you know, it's not amazing or anything. It's not even that great. It's not terrible. But the fact that it takes up a spot in the deck is probably what's going to not, you know, have it see play. We can always hope and dream, though. You know, it is a spell. And with cards like Tempo, with, um, with uh, decks like Tempo Mage and such, you're always looking for as much spell synergy as possible so just the fact alone that it's a um, that it's a spell might see it in some play such as a tempo mage recruiter add a 2-2 squire to your hand inspire every single time it's pretty cool every single time you hero power well it's alive all right last two packs here We'll see if we can get anything interesting i know we got a ton of epics at least so we can definitely disenchant some of those and get a lot of dust Got some golden cards, golden rare right there. All spiders once again. Nice, nice easy dust, I guess. And the last pack. Here we go. Your late, late, latency can take as much time as it wants on this one. We'll take our time. And nothing. Well, all right. We got one legendary. I don't know how long you guys were able to hear me because I know my audio program crashed for a bit. So that really, really sucks. But at least we managed to record, you know, I guess the uh, majority of the pack opening with all the latency issues. 
and the unfortunate completely you know out of the blue unrelatable to uh, hearthstone at all my audio program crashing which has yeah just makes no sense at all because it never does that that kind of sucks but regardless i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really really enjoyed opening these packs oh let's go and check my collection and see what we could see latency is really slow but it should eventually let me go and check it out it's not letting me hover anything over anything yet but it should yeah there we go see takes a bit crafting 665 dust we also have already 300 we can do that now we also have a bunch of goldens that yeah we can definitely uh you know definitely create a, a couple decks or something um that we want to play so that's awesome and if i need i can also buy some extra decks in the future and i'll make sure to record those for you if i buy a big amount um nice 975 dust just purely based off extra cards and now that we have I have a lot of cards, I'll have to go through them and see which ones we should disenchant. No idea yet, uh, but we will surely find out. Regardless, thank you all for watching this video, guys. I really, really appreciate uh, you guys sticking through to the end, regardless of the issues. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, a comment down below, and subscribe. And cheers to the grand tournament being released and finally out and playable. Been waiting for this moment for a bit really excited for hearthstone um oh and uh world of warcraft um definitely <laughs> excited for legion but that's the you know that's irrelevant uh right now now we have the grand tournament to um to basically kill some time but kill some time greatly because this game is so so fun especially when you have a bunch of new cards to explore anyways thanks for watching guys make sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time